What's going on everybody? Rob here, Trev2323. Subscribe, like, and share. I'm going to go over a tank update today on all the tanks we got running. And also, this is this one's pretty cool kicking butt, this mosquito fish tank. This thing is kicking butt lately, but also, you see him out right here. The garter snake. You see him right there? I have yet to get a video of him eating, but when the lights go on, he's normally on top of his castle, just sitting there relaxing. If I put the light on there, he'll go away. See him this one right here. Yeah, along that tongue is. That's the garter snake, but let me show you this mosquito fish. This is the stand I made for them. I got a YouTube video on that, but you know my wife had me put all this green stuff in there because the female mosquito fish weren't, I mean they were just holding their bellies like, like that. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And this right here was making this side light up. It's normally dark is I got my Ozark Trail light on the opening right there. So that's what's making it light up so you can see it. But I wanted to show you the, the bit, hold on. Sorry, I had a phone call. But I wanted to show you all the babies since we put the plants in there. Look at there's a crayfish all the way straight up and down in there. You can't see it really because it's black in there, but you can see the babies of the those are the babies mosquito fish. There's tons of them swimming all around in there now. And it's like once we put those uh plants in the tank. There's a the marble crayfish, more babies. Once we put the plants in the tank, it's like the babies just kept coming and kept coming and kept coming. I'm trying to see if I can find any more. Since we're here, there's another one back here. See it swimming around right in there. And these are here's another big marble crayfish. Look at the whiskers on those suckers. There's two side by side in the tubes. There's another baby right up there. And it's pretty awesome. Just it's like a little natural environment that these guys are all swimming around in. They hide so good underneath the leaves. And then the tubes on the bottom are for the marble crayfish. There's like a maybe a medium sized one right there. Another medium sized one right there. And there's another crayfish up in there. But they hide in the uh, the marble crayfish. Hide in the tubes. Here's a marble crayfish on eggs. This one right here is on eggs. You can tell when they're on eggs because they curl their tail backwards. Now this like if everybody knows this tank was just all thrown together. Just sitting in the basement. All that is is an air bubble filter, a heater, sand, PVC tubes, and fake plants. And that tank is like a, just a complete natural environment. Anybody can sit there and just watch it and relax. And it is amazing. I mean, it's just so relaxing like a natural environment. As a matter of fact, they're probably going to buy more of the plants to put in there. And if you get really close, you just see everything. Like, like you couldn't see this little mosquito fish baby next to this baby marble crayfish and there's actually probably smaller marble crayfish in there that you could barely see to the naked eye but just to see this micro environment is amazing now let me go over here because one more thing i wanted to show you of course we got the uh tilapia none of them are on eggs yet but there's a new big daddy blocking the uh that corner that they want to lay eggs at this guy got his fins down, he came to this side, so that's his corner recently. And that's his corner right there for eggs. That's I, I like that male better, my daughter likes that male better right there. But uh, so far those are the two that are fighting for dominance in here. This is Squishy, my red belly Paku. My daughter swears that he's a black piranha because he doesn't got the big square teeth. But that sucker is huge, that's a 125 that he's in. That's a 125 and I would even hate to donate him to move him because the one time I did try to move him to clean out his tank really good, he almost didn't make it. But this guy's always nosy in everybody's business. 
He's and here's the uh, peapot puffers. They're very nosy. Also, let me swim into the camera to see what's going on. My wife feeds those worms, the blood worms. Now this koi, I have. They keep unburying this corner. See all the rocks are all over here. I didn't do that. The koi did it. They keep unburying that corner. And what I wanted to show you with here is I got to replace this filter. But this is amazing. Look at all that algae on the filter. I mean, it's like a carpet of algae. A carpet of algae. A carpet of algae on the filter. See? And that's from this $19 LED light. Now they say, why don't you take that off of there? Because LG actually, the, the green, the natural, takes some of the bad stuff out of the water. So I just leave it. It's actually hanging underneath there. But yes, I know I do need water flow. But I did want to show you with this LED light. If you can see on the, what's that called? Deadwood uh, that's just sitting at the bottom. It actually has LG growing on the deadwood at the bottom. LG's growing on that with this LED light right here. And that's actually a live plant right there. And that's a live plant, but they keep eating that live plant up here. And that's a live plant, but they keep eating it. Now here's the, that's a aranda, a large aranda. These koi are pretty fat. And I made the stand for this tank also. I made the st stand for that 125. Now that is a 125 with an under gravel filter and the filter on the back. You see that's crystal clear with all that koi. 10 gallon with just the under gravel filter and a heater. This is 125 with an under gravel filter, one up tube, a heater, and a Marineland 350. This is a 72 bowl front with a pop bottle filter. And uh, under the tank filter, that's my most silent filter that I have right there. And then this one right here is a 55 gallon. And that just has that bio filter right there with the heater right here. And each one of these tanks is very relaxing to watch. The one thing I want to try to get is I want to try to get Frank. That's what I named the snake. I want to try to get Frank Eden. You see he's on the other side right now. He just shot to the back because he goes underneath this castle. So he probably is around eating right now. Either way, that's an update on all the tanks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share.